I will strive with all my being and with the help of God to become an open, honest, kind, and diversified individual. In doing so, I will attain the qualities essential in the practice of nursing. For it is only after realizing one's self-worth we are able to promote that of others. The deliverance of high-quality health care is of essential importance. But let us also reach beyond the treatment or diagnosis. And remember that entrusted to my care is a human being. With all the loves, hates, fears, and idiosyncrasies that are an integral part of a human species. Let me not grow too comfortable in my mind but actively seek out new information or a continuance of my education. Being a nurse requires continuous growth. I dedicate myself to this cause and my life to the profession of nursing. Okay, graduates, please extinguish your candles. Jennifer Marguerite Lures for the farewell address. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome Queensborough's interim president, Diane B. Call, nursing chairperson, Anne Marie Menendez, vice president for student affairs, Ellen Hardigan. Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Karen Steele, faculty and staff, and family and friends to our Spring 2012 Candle Lighting and Pinning Ceremony. Many of you sitting here tonight may be familiar with the old adage, when giving a speech to combat any nerves, it's helpful to picture your audience in their underwear. <laughs> Since this is a nursing school graduation, I've decided that it would be far more appropriate to picture you all in nursing gowns with the backs untied. <laughs> Now that that's out of the way, I'd like to start by saying how extremely grateful I am to be standing here with each and every one of my classmates. Our journey here at Queensborough is finally complete. Congratulations, Class of Spring 2012. First and foremost, I would like to sincerely thank the nursing faculty and staff for the guidance and dedication that you have shown to us. As the English author Samuel Johnson once said, he that teaches us anything which we knew not before is undoubtedly to be reverenced as a master. You are most definitely masters. You have taught us countless technical skills, such as performing sterile dressing changes, solid technique when giving injections, and how to properly insert a Foley catheter. You can imagine how happy we were when we found out that we would not be practicing these skills on each other, <laughs> and instead on our very lifelike simulation models. Most importantly though, you have taught us the true meaning of what it is to be a nurse. To be a nurse means to be a team player, detail-oriented and hardworking. It is to be a quick and critical thinking with great judgment, phenomenal communication skills, and the physical endurance of Superman or a woman. Lastly, you have shown us the meaning of empathy. An empathetic nurse is one that knows that sometimes just being silent and present with a patient who needs to cry is just as important as any medical regime most of all, an empathetic nurse is one who takes his or her profession seriously, with patients' precious lives in their hands, double-checks their work, truly advocates for their patients, and delivers safe professional care that is centered on the whole person. You have taught us that nursing is neither a job nor a task to be done, but a service to others to ensure that each person who comes into our care has the best quality of life possible. For this, we thank you. To our friends and family, there aren't enough words to thank you for your unwavering support and encouragement. Thank you for being the voices of reason during each and every near nervous breakdown that came the night before yet another exam. Thank you for understanding as we put things such as socializing and even laundry and cooking on hold. You have been such an important part of our journey. You have been there to offer shoulder to cry on after a hard day 
and a source of constant support. We are standing here today in part because of you. Thank you for always telling us you can do this. And finally, we owe a huge thank you to each other. I'm sure no one standing here today would deny the fact that completing nursing school is no easy task. Without each other, this journey would definitely have not been quite as enjoyable or fruitful. Together we learned that whether in NU 101, NU 102, NU 201, or NU 202, if wash your hands is an optional answer on an exam, who should have been? The answer is always wash your hands. The answers are never yes, no, always, never, or absolute bed rest. We've learned not to look for zebras in a pasture full of horses. And we found ourselves saying, it depends, in response to nursing questions more often than not. <laughs> We've learned not to defib before defibbing, <laughs> before you check the leads. We've learned that every free service in our homes is an appropriate place to store our numerous nursing textbooks and 592 slide OB power. <laughs> We've collectively wished that normal saline could be substituted with coffee and used to get us through just one more chapter in our 10.5 pound 2,368-page medical surgical textbook with limited pictures. <laughs> the bonds that we have formed here will undoubtedly last a lifetime. May we always be no more than a late-night phone call or a coffee date away from each other as we start this next chapter as newly registered nurses. In December of last year, nurses maintained their dominance atop Gallup's annual poll of trustworthy professions topping the list for the 12th time in the 13 years that they have been included as an option. This poll surveyed randomized people from all 50 states, including Washington, D.C. As we continue to pursue our bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees, may we never forget our beginnings here at Queensborough and the oath we've taken today. May we always be expanding upon our current skills and knowledge in the pursuit of providing the most skillful and compassionate care possible, so that we can ensure that we always maintain the trust of the individuals that we care for. In the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and enjoy the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed e easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. Congratulations, graduates. We did it.